Well, all right, I'm here. All your problems are solved. Call the straw boss. Give me some rods. Let's weld some pipe. Whale test? What do you mean, whale test? Don't you know who I am? I'm the beat hand from the promised land. All right, fine. I'll take your silly test. Where's my helper? Tell him to pull my leads out. No helper? Ooh, y'all better be careful. There's a job down the road paying more than y'all. I'll drag this sucker real quick. Y'all better line yourselves out. I'll take your silly test. Pull my own leads. Ah. Hey, someone take my picture for the gram. Oop. <laughs> Oopsie. What you mean, grinder? I ain't no grinder. I'm a welder. I'm burning out. It'd be fine. Ah. Why is this sucker so dang hot? Ow. 70-18. It's an uphill? You want me to go uphill? Wire wheel? Do I need a wire? I don't need no wire wheel. It'll, it'll burn it right out. No problem. It just... Here. I really get used to these here rods. I'm a, I'm a professional. Hey, I'm on my back over here working like a slave. You go grab me some more rods out of, out over there? Not in the oven. Them things are too hot. I don't like them. Give me the cold ones. Oh, yeah, old son. Hey, y'all go call that inspector. Come here and look at this. You better hurry up before the sucker falls right off the pipe and go ahead and call that foreman, too, and tell him I need a raise. Oh, y'all told me it don't run downhill. I put a little downhill in those fills. It wells just fine. All right, obviously that guy is kicking stones. He's been written off. You don't want to be that guy. What's up, everybody? My name is Guy. I am one of the Canadian hosts with Weld.com, and we're going to have a look at this piece of pipe today, and we're going to do a weld repair on that guy's work. All right, let's have a look at our coupon here that was welded up by our superstar. Um, there's a few little indications here. Our x-ray hand came in and sort of gave us some, some markings and told us what's wrong. Let's keep in mind here that a visual weld doesn't end there. We don't know what's going on on the inside sometimes. This weld looks great from the outside, but when we take a picture of the inside of this, this actually showed that we've got some lack of fusion and we've got some slag inclusions here. Now, normally an x-ray hand would give you a film. Uh, you would have to line this up on your pipe and make sure that you've got it in the proper orientation because you don't want to be cutting open your pipe in, a, in the wrong area, which is just going to cause, you know, double the work. All right, guys, I got my safety glasses on. I've got my long sleeves, things like that, everything I need for this, uh, this first grind here. I've got my slag inclusion, and this is the one I'm gonna hit first. But first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the cap down, I'm gonna take it flush, and maybe leave about a 32nd to a 16th of an inch on top. And then I'm gonna score my edges of this, uh, of this indication, just so that I don't grind outside of my bevel. Now, keep in mind, I wanna keep the same profile of bevel on this piece. So I don't wanna just go grind right into it and, and go heavy and take too much material out because I gotta, I gotta fill this thing up after. You know, time is money, material, all that stuff is gonna, is gonna add up. So I'm gonna grab my flapper now and just start taking that down. All right, I just changed my wheel over. I'm gonna score the sides of these, uh, this indication here, this whole area, and that's gonna give me a zone. That's gonna give me a bit of an area to stay within. Now, I don't wanna use a brand new disc on this. I don't wanna skate across this pipe. It's gonna leave a bunch of grind marks. So I'm gonna gently go into that pipe and then I'm gonna go in a little bit harder. You can actually see right here that there's already an indication showing within that cap. So I treat this stuff like cockroaches. You know, once you see one, you know, there's hundreds later. So we're just going to keep grinding. We're going to grind right into this. All right, so I switched over to my hard disk. This is a quarter inch hard disk. Again, it's not a brand new disk. We don't want to be skating across this. I want to reprofile this, um, this bevel or this groove here to be similar to our bevel on the end right now. So I'm gonna keep grinding from one side to another until I get that shape again, or until all of that sort of porosity or you know little pinholes, slag inclusion, whatever's in there is gone. And if we have to go right down to the root, then we're gonna do it. I'm also probably gonna go maybe, maybe a quarter inch on each side a little bit further until I don't see any of this stuff. All 
All right, folks, so before we go in and profile this or really clean this up to um, to the bevel that, that we want, we came in and we actually did a little bit of dye penetrant on this. We were having trouble sort of seeing some of the defects and we wanted to make sure that the camera could catch it. And it's not common practice for a company maybe to request a dye penetrant inspection. It's a very cheap, uh, non-destructive test. So that's what we did right here. So if we have a look here, we can see these little pinholes. We can see the slag inclusion and we can see a cluster up here as well. So those are some more little pinholes. Now is what I'm going to do. My next move is to clear some of this, this stuff off and I'm going to grind into that a little bit more. All right, now that I've got all the work done on this side here, we've got some slag inclusion on this side. We're going to do the exact course of action. We're going to do the exact same thing on here. However, I'm going to start with a zip cut on this and I'm going to score that. I'm going to grind right down to the root and I'm going to be careful to keep that nice and straight and nice and square to the pipe because my lack of fusion is right in the center of that root or right on the, uh, the edges of that, uh, that gap. Okay, one thing I do want to mention is there's many ways of doing this repair. This is one way we've been successful with it. I've cut right down the middle. I've got my two score marks on each side of that. And now I'm just going to start grinding away and start profiling that bevel once again so that we can prep it nicely because we got to put a nice 6010 root and then we're going to start filling with that 7018 again. All right, folks, let's give a little bit of explanation what we've done here. I ground right down to the root as explained earlier. Now my course of action here is going to be to put that root in just like we did at the beginning, just like it's new metal. And we're going to do our hot pass. We're going to do our fill and we're going to do our cap on this side. We're going to do the same thing, except we're not going to put in that root. We're at about the fill pass. So we're going to fill this up and then we're going to cap it. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to grind that cap down on this little area so that it's flush with the pipe where whenever we come across, it's going to be one uniform weld all the way. Let's do this. All right, folks, that's it for the repair. We did our best to try and keep this as uniform as possible in our two sections. One thing I do want to mention is that I ground down my cap flush here so that we can do sort of one big section of cap instead of having these little stops. And I would have had some more grind marks. Keep in mind, we ground down our stops and starts on that. In some situations, some procedures may not allow you to do that, but we did this in, uh, in, in this situation. All right, so it's super important to follow the code, follow the procedure, and always to listen to your inspector. Keep in mind, they're just trying to get a sound weld so that there's nothing that fails down the road. 
and this is only going to make you a better welder. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe. Uh, myself at sewingwithfireweld.com and download the Weld app. Check it out if you haven't done so yet. And most important, keep those lenses clean. Mm -hmm.